Captain, uh, not the winning start yet. You'd hope for. Uh, how do you sum up this game today? Yeah, I think uh, it was a bad toss to lose. Uh, uh, there was some moisture in the wicket early on, and uh, the it took around an hour or so to get it just to the surface. And even the Malaysian bowlers weren't giving any freebies to us to play our uh, shots. Uh, in the process, we lost some wickets, and then during the rebuilding stage, uh, uh, we got some partnerships, but we, we couldn't get going. So these are some learning curves. We'll we'll come back stronger in that department. After the early wicket, you seemed like you had settled down, but uh, then uh, quick fire wickets fell down. But how do you sum up? The, how do you describe the partnership that was done by the lower order? Did, did that was that the positive that you could take after this game? Yeah, uh, I think our lower order played uh, uh, great innings. They they tried to uh, completely get uh, finish the 50 overs, and uh, I'm really happy with the way our uh, tail and the lower order batsmen played. Uh, in, including Atif and Hasib, who who took the responsibility from the middle order and led it till the end, and uh, also uh, Abdul Wahid got some runs after a long time, and that will be a very big positive for us. And he's a class act player, and I, I believe uh, our batting will come back stronger. So you're just back from the qualifiers, and you had good qualifiers uh, tournament. So how how hopeful are you of continuing that in this tournament? Yeah, I think it was the first match. We're still getting used to the Nepal uh, atmosphere, to the surface. Uh, the wicket was uh, doing a bit in the uh, early stages, and uh, I think to the second second innings, uh, it, it wasn't uh, helping us much. Uh, it had become a little uh, bit easier, and the ball was coming onto the bat uh, easier. So yeah, I think uh, it, uh, kind of something in which the toss was uh, something which would matter, and uh, we'll take this, we'll take this, and we'll learn from there. So this is the first international tournament in this very ground. How do you rate this pitch and uh, this ground, the atmosphere that you're uh, playing in? Uh, the atmosphere is really good. I think the wicket is also pretty good for a 50-over game. Uh, it's just that uh, we have to learn to adjust to some situations. And uh, also, I think the facilities are pretty good. Uh, and I look forward to play more cricket in Nepal. So, uh, next Monday, Nepal is playing their first game in this ground and you're playing against them. How, what is your expectation from the match and how, how do you think you will uh, cope up with the crowd? Yeah, that's, that's one experience uh, our boys are uh, always uh, waiting for. Because uh, such atmosphere and uh, such uh, spectators we haven't seen uh, before this. But uh, I've already told my boys to enjoy the game and uh, take it uh, with a chin up. And I think everyone's doing a good job. Uh, it was not the day for us, it was a day to learn, but uh, we will come back strong. In this tournament, so you've come, uh, you're playing against the ODI nations like Nepal, who is in top form. So, how do you see your chances going forward, especially that uh, there's a position in emerging cup as well? How do you see this opportunity? Uh, no, we have a lot of talent and uh, we have the skill set in our opinion and uh, we will uh, go match by match and then uh, based on that situation we will uh, look into the uh, scenario uh, in, uh, uh, later on in the tournament. But uh, we don't take any team uh, easily or any team uh, towards our head. I think uh, there are some good sides in this group, Oman and Nepal, I think even Qatar, all three are good teams and it will be a good challenge to us and even if uh, something goes in our way then I think we can take it from there. I'm gonna